everyone. Welcome to the weekly update. We are going to get right into the fish. Uh, one thing I do want to tell you about or just kind of uh, reaffirm is the fact that we're having a major giveaway right now. All you need to do is bring in one can good and you can get your name registered to win one of several fish tanks or a really cool lighting system. Uh, for more about that, check into our Facebook and the ads that you keep see popping up and uh, get in here really quick before the end of the year because that's when the tank prices are going back up and you've still got a little bit of time to upgrade those tanks. So without further ado, let's get into the fish. Hi, it's Kevin. I'm here to show you the highlights of what I got in in freshwater fish this week, but I'm also here to let you know that we're giving away four different awesome prizes. If you wanna come bring in your canned goods and donate it to a good cause, we're gonna be donating it to the Roma McDonald House. So you can bring in items up to once per day. So up the stakes for yourself. Maybe you could be so lucky as to win all four, who knows? But bring in a canned good item anytime you want to at your convenience to fill out a ticket. We got in some beautiful frontosas in this week. These guys are a Lake Tanganyikan cichlid. They do really well though, mixed in with some of the Malawi cichlids. They generally will outsize your other cichlids, but they are not as aggressive as some of the others may be. I got in a, an insane selection of large African cichlid peacocks in this week. These peacocks come in a good range of different types of and colors. I got these guys from a local source that I get from on occasion. All of this fish are always incredible. All of these guys are about three to four inches. Some of the coolest live bears I got in this week, I got in a good selection of some endlers. These are little small semi-fancy guppies. I've got a good selection of a lot of different colors on the males this week. I got in some awesome looking rainbow stifodon gobies. These guys are native to Indonesia. They max out at a maximum size of only two inches, so their class is a nano fish. Very peaceful in behavior, predominantly feeding off algae and biofilm from the substrate. So you actually would put them in an, uh, preferably in an established planted tank for best results. Got in some excellent looking ember tetras. These are excellent nano fish and would be excellent to start a brand new tank out with because they're tough as nails and could handle the ammonia spike from an initial fish cycle. Got in some really nice looking long fin cherry barbs this week. These guys are pretty good size, although a cherry barb is a relatively small fish. Nice, beautiful finnage on these guys. We got in some really nice looking Bolivian rams. Bolivian rams, although the ram is a trade name for these guys, they are not actually true rams. They are one of the smallest of the geophagus. They do really well in larger community tanks or in with semi-aggressive fish. Got in some incredible looking albino tiger barbs mixed in with some platinum green tiger barbs. Barbs are excellent for activity in any tank because they're some of the fastest schoolers. Since they are fast schoolers, they are thin nippers to keep each other in line, so do keep them in groups of five or more. Some more fish I got from a local source. We got some really nice looking locally raised electric blue acaras. They usually typically get about six inches max, do really well in most semi-aggressive tanks. Beautiful fish. Got in some awesome looking electric blue jack dempsies. The electric blue jack dempsies are not nearly as aggressive as their regular jack dempsey counterparts. They generally do very well in a semi-aggressive tank mixed in with large barbs and the such. They generally top out maximum size six to eight inches. We got in some nice looking little Mexican dwarf crayfish. We haven't been able to get these guys in in a while. They seldom reach any size over an inch and a half. They stay small, relatively peaceful, but omnivorous. Got in some really nice looking turquoise rainbows. These guys are native from New Guinea from Lake Katubu. They usually reach about four inches in length or so. They usually mix in with most large community fish to some semi-aggressive fish. 
He got in some cute little baby tire track eels. These little guys come from Asia. They're just babies, but when they're full grown, they will exceed 24 inches. They are mostly insectivores and also love to eat crustaceans as well. Hi guys, welcome to my saltwater portion of the weekly update. I've got a lot of cool things to show you. Um, a lot of big fish for fish only tanks, predatory tanks right now, which um, most of them were trade-ins, which is super cool. I don't have a lot of those very often, so I've got some of those guys. And I've also got some cute little, cute little filler fish that work well in reef tanks as well as fish only tanks. Um, and fish that are gonna fit really nicely in smaller tanks like your 32 gallon bio cubes, which we still have the fully set up system for you to come by for $1,000 and you get everything included with it, including a pair of clownfish. So definitely check that out because it's coming up to be Christmas time and that's gonna be a great Christmas present. And the bio cubes, if you buy a new one, come in a box, which you can wrap, which will fit under a tree. So definitely make sure to think about who in your, your life, family, friends that might want a fish tank, because that's gonna be a perfect way to step your foot into salt water. So now let's go take a look at some of the cool fish that I have for you guys. First up this week is this absolutely just truly spectacular, magnificent fox face. So also called the red fin because if you look at his top dorsal spines and that back spiky part, you can see that it does have that red color. So this fox face is going to be just as good at um, eating algae. They are also venomous just like your normal ones. These guys are just the, ooh, hello. These guys are just like the designer variant, I would call it, of a fox face. They are great community fish, great even reef fish. Um, I would say these guys are mostly reef safe, not 100%, but most people have great luck with them. This is a fish that we don't get in all that often, and this one's just truly magnificent. Ha, huh, and its name is a magnificent fox face. Ha, huh, I made it funny. I'm going to show him again, even though I've already showed him. This is my Niger trigger that I have right now. It is spectacular. It already has streamers coming off of its tail. He already has really nice green in his face. He is a wonderful eater. He's been getting along well with other uh, bigger, more aggressive fish. This Niger trigger would be an excellent addition, preferably, oh, look at his colors. Preferably in a fish only, as these guys can eat and will eat your invertebrates, crab snails and shrimp. And this guy in particular absolutely loves clams on the half shell as a part of his diet. Hi, clown grouper. And that's a clown grouper, and he's really cool and pretty, but also toxic, but definitely a showpiece. Bye bye. Oh, hi, Miniata. Oh my God, everyone's coming out to say hello. Okay, bye. <laughs> so this is a very cool general star. These guys are not reef safe, so definitely a fish only aquarium for him as he will eat all your coral, but they're beautiful. They have nice maroon burgundy colors this really nice tannish yellow color um, that pairs with it very nicely, very distinct. They get really big and um, I would definitely recommend feeding them aside from the things that they're gonna eat in your tank. Pieces of big meat like the chunky or a, uh, even a clam on the half shell would be great for these guys, but definitely a fish only aquarium. The Falco Hawkfish, a definitely fan favorite for a reef tank, fish only tank, community tank, these guys are super cute, and again, they don't have swim bladders. They just kind of pop and hop and prance around from rock to rock. These guys don't add a huge bio load to a tank. They're a great little fish to add if you want to add something else that is always going to be out. These guys typically do not hide. They're a great fish to have if you want something with personality that's always going to be out. Oh my god, it looked like he was wagging his tail. If this is not the cutest little hawkfish, oh my god, like you guys need to take him home. So this guy is a coral banded shrimp. They do very well in reef tanks. Um, they kind of hang out to the rocks, kind of stick to themselves. Uh, they are typically pretty fish safe as well as invert safe, but because they still have those pinchers, an occasional fish, a small fish or invert might end up going missing. But for the most part, these guys are great. Um, there are actually pictures and videos uh, that divers have taken in the wild of these guys cleaning in between the teeth of big gymnothorax eels like the tessellata. So they're a great cleaning shrimp as well. Puffy, puffy, puffy. 
Puff the magic puffer lives in the sea. <laughs> this is the truly spectacular blue face angel. These guys, some people think of as holy grail angels. They are just magnificent fish. These guys are large bodied angels, so they can have a little bit more of an attitude and are not going to be reef safe. So a fish only aquarium for these wonderful fish. But for angels, your blue face are typically gonna be pretty hardy fish. And so we definitely wanna make sure that we pair these guys, um, not pair, but make sure that we choose tank mates accordingly just because they can have attitudes. But we don't have these guys in very often and they are just absolutely beautiful and have that awesome eye spot on the back part of their dorsal fin. And that's a form of camouflage. There you go. Thank you for showing off. God, he's so pretty. Little Blue Spot Fiji Puffer wants to say hello to everyone. And he would like you guys to take him home. This is a dwarf puffer. So because it's a puffer, they still have the beak and they're still not gonna be 100% invertebrate safe. Small crabs and shrimp and snails are gonna go missing because of this guy but they don't get very large. They typically can work well with most fish and they're absolutely beautiful. So lots of cool fish this week, lots of cool things in the store. Come see us, God bless and have a great weekend.